Hi guys and welcome to The Family Fudge. I'm Jennifer and today I'm sharing one of my favorite pumpkin recipes. I'm going to be making pumpkin crunch cake, which is kind of like a cross between a pumpkin cobbler and a pumpkin dump cake. It is easy to put together and the whole family loves it. So stay tuned and I will show you how to make it. So today's video is a collab with a lot of other awesome YouTube ladies who are also going to be sharing their pumpkin recipes. So definitely check out the playlist. I will link it down below. And I want to say thank you to Rachel at Day to Day Joyce for putting this collab together. Here's what you're going to need. I'm starting with two 15 ounce cans of pumpkin. Now this is pumpkin puree. It is not pumpkin pie mix. You're also going to need one yellow cake mix and you can use any brand or variety that you prefer. You also need one can of evaporated milk, three large eggs, one cup of sugar, one cup of chopped nuts. You can use pecans or walnuts, both will work just fine. I'm also using three quarters of a cup of melted coconut oil. But if you prefer, you could also substitute the coconut oil with some melted butter. I'm also using four teaspoons of pumpkin pie spice and one teaspoon of cinnamon. And lastly, about half a teaspoon of salt. I'm going to start by adding all of my pumpkin to a large mixing bowl. Next, I'm going to add all of my sugar, the evaporated milk, and all three eggs. Then I'm going to add all four teaspoons of pumpkin pie spice and half a teaspoon of salt. Next, I'm going to mix this until it's smooth and completely combined. Next, I'm going to add this to a baking dish, which I've sprayed with nonstick spray. I'm going to go ahead and preheat my oven at 350 degrees and get started on my yummy topping. In a separate bowl, I'm going to add my entire yellow cake mix, my chopped nuts, one teaspoon of cinnamon, and a pinch of salt. I'm going to give this a stir and then pour in the melted coconut oil or butter if you're using butter. Now I'm going to lightly stir this with a fork and you definitely do not want to over mix it. We just want this to come together a bit. We don't want a smooth paste, we want to leave it chunky. Using my fingers, I'm going to drop clumps of our dough all over the top of our pumpkin mixture, just like you would do with a cobbler. This is going to give us a really crisp, yummy crust, which is kind of like a cross between a pie crust and a cookie. Next, I'm going to stick this in the oven for about an hour, and at the 30 minute mark, I'm going to check it. If the crust is looking too dark, I'm going to go ahead and put aluminum foil on the top because you definitely don't want to burn the crust. When your hour is up and your crust is nice and golden brown, you can go ahead and remove it from the oven. Once it's cooled down enough, you can dig in. I like to serve mine warm with some vanilla ice cream. Although this is very good served cold as well. And it makes delicious leftovers. Yum, doesn't that look good? I hope you guys love it. Okay guys, thank you so much for joining me today. If you like this video, please give it a big thumbs up and don't forget to subscribe if you're not already. Also, let me know in the comments down below what your favorite pumpkin recipe is. Thanks for watching and I'll see you next time.